Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, how your life has changed, if it has changed at all, since uh, becoming the interim lightweight champion? Um, <clears throat> if anything, people, I've, I've just felt a lot of uh, appreciation from, from people reaching out and, and telling me they appreciate my journey. And, uh, you know, I'm just grateful that I can inspire people. And, you know, a lot of people calling me, messaging me about I motivated them to, to chase their dreams and stuff like that. You know, I, I feed off of that. I love those, that good energy. But other than that, I mean, I'm still, I'm still dusting. I'll go home. I'm a dad. Uh, it's all I really do is just train and, and hang out with my daughter. So life's pretty much the same, except I got a gold belt at the house. And, uh, of course, we know Khabib is undefeated. Um, how are you looking to overcome the intense wrestling and pace that he puts on his opponents that we've seen in the past? Just be myself. Go out there and, and show the world what I'm capable of. You know, like you said, 27 have tried and 27 have failed. But, uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me questions like, what do I see weaknesses in, in Khabib's game? Or where do I think he makes mistakes? And I've kind of been sitting back talking to my coaches and thinking about this and I, I don't really need him to be weak for me to be strong you know I, I don't need huge glaring holes I'm going to create them with, with my pressure my fight IQ my, my just experience and, and the amount of rounds and years that I've been doing this you know it's going to be a, a very high level fight you got two guys on the pound for pound list one of them is undefeated both of them are champions Two champions are going in, one champion's coming out. You know, this is going to be a huge fight. I'm excited about it, and I'll, I'll make those openings that, that we're talking about. And one for Dustin. Uh, you mentioned earlier 27 have tried and 27 have, have failed. What do you have in your arsenal that makes you the one in 27 and one? Experience, self-belief, my mindset. I'm uh, focused on making history. And, and that's all I care about. You know, that's what the next 11 weeks of my life are going to be. To prepare for 25 minutes, to, to do whatever I have to do to get my hand raised, you know. Um, like, I, like I told her, I don't need to find huge, huge holes. The guy's good, you know. I can't, I can't sit up here and, and say that anything bad about the guy. He's good. Um, he's the world champ. But I'm going to make things happen in there and bring him to places he's never been in there. So that's just it. You've had to work really hard for this opportunity. You've not been gifted this. You know, you've had a long road to this, to this opportunity, getting to the interim title fight, winning that, and now getting this fight. What have you learned over the course of that journey that you think will prove really valuable to you on fight night? Because it's the biggest fight of your career, right? <clears throat> I've learned that I can count on myself, um, that I can trust me. You know, adversity introduces a man to himself, and I've been through it, man. So I'm well acquainted, and I'm ready to rock.